hi everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'd like to welcome you here today. Today I wanted to share with you a card <clears throat> which we, we did at class this week. And it is using the stamp set called So, oh, so Many Shells. This is a stunning stamp set that I have to say I just haven't used it enough and sadly it's being retired come the end of May so June 1st you won't be able to get this anymore and it's a little deceiving because on the front of the cover it shows smaller images but they actually are much much larger um, let me put them here so you can see them I hope you can see them but it has a ton, a ton, a ton of different sayings. And the font on the sayings is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, sadly, I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. But you still can get it. You'll still be able to get um, Stampin' Up! stamps through the, about the last week in May. Because we do make our own stamps. So if in the event they do have a total rush on them... They'll be able to to make them up, but once the catalog, the current catalog is done, <clears throat> then it'll be gone and it'll be done. So um, let me share with you. This is the card that we made, and can you see the wink of Stella? I always tell everybody at all my events. Stella comes to every party. I'm trying to get it where it'll show. There you go. You can see that shimmer on there, and I went a little Stella happy, but that's okay. <clears throat> so let me show you how. Um, I created this and I have my iPhone my iPad hooked up a little bit differently so I have to remember I'm over here so let me just move my chair over here and um, here we go all right so now the base of our card is going to be tempting turquoise which yeah this is going to be leaving too so that'll be our base of our card we have a piece of crumb cake which is four um, by five and a quarter so that'll be a layering piece and then we have our whisper white which is now let me think three and three quarters by five okay and you can adjust those to um, whatever suits you so this is just a piece of scrap of cardstock and I use our square framelits to cut out a template so this is going to get Put on the top of our white cardstock and this will all make sense to you in a minute and this is what's going to create a little um, a template over it to do a masking technique so what I'm doing here is I'm going to grab some of this washi and a lot of our washi is going to be leaving us as well which is sad um, we are going to have just a little bit of washi but yeah, majority of it is going. So you'll want to make sure, check out the retirement list. Head on over to my online store and um, check out what's going and be sure to get it before it's gone. Okay, so that should be good. So the washi tape is just basically going to hold down that template so that it doesn't go anywhere. So the colors we're going to use, we're going to do some sponging. Okay, so... Um, these are our Stampin' sponges, and they come in a pack of three, and um, I like to be frugal, so what I do is I cut them into wedges, just like this, and um, I have one for each color. So we're going to start with our Sahara Sand, because we're going to make it look like it's sand, and so that will be for that one, and I must be missing one. I think probably my cat Dory took it. And we're going to go next with Soft Sky, which that is going to be another retiring color, sadly. So that one is going to go for that. And then we're going to use Marina Mist. And I don't know, am I thinking Marina Mist might be leaving as well? I'll have to check. I kind of haven't really gone through the inks quite yet to see what's staying and what's going. So we're going to start with the Sahara Sand and our sponge. Gonna kind of pounce off a little bit because we don't want it to have like a stark boom like that when you go to um, to do this sponging technique. So I'm kind of holding my little template down, 
and doing my little sponging. All right, that looks good. Let me move that out of the way. So let's go with our next color, which is the Soft Sky. All right, and we're going to do the same thing, pounce off a little bit. Now the Soft Sky, we can kind of go over the whole rest of this because the Marina Mist is actually, and I think this needs to be re-inked, um, the Marina Mist is actually going to kind of, you know, be a much deeper blue. But we want to make it look like it's the sand, and then, you know, how when you first go into the ocean, it's a little bit, you know, uh, lighter. And then further as you go into the ocean, it gets a little bit darker. So I'm going to kind of blend this in. That looks good to me, but that definitely has to be re-inked. So let me put that aside. Then next, here we are, Marina Mist. I never really use this color a whole lot. So this is very inky. <laughs> so we're going to start here on the end. Sorry about that banging there. It's just my desk. It's getting a workout. And I'm just going to lightly blend just like that. I want to go back in and add a little bit more of the soft sky. And then maybe a little bit deeper of the marina mist. Because I want it to not have like an actual line between them, but just a gradual darker color. And to me that, that looks good. So let me close all of these up. And these sponges, you can actually have save one for each color if you like, or you can just um, go ahead and take them to the sink and wash them out and use them over and over and over again. All right, so now we're going to remove this and look at, it just looks so much better. And, all right, I'm just going to push this aside. I'm not going to worry about that. We'll leave that connected. But see how stunning that made that little um, mask underneath? Love it. All right, so now we're going to go in with our Blushing Bride. And we're going to go ahead and stamp. And I think this is like a sea urchin. Mm. I don't know. I asked the ladies at class and I just, you know, they kind of just, well, they didn't really say. So <laughs> perhaps they didn't know either, but I think that's what that's called. We're going to use crumb cake next. Oh, and I don't know why this ink pad does that. Uh, I mean, this is not the first time. I'm not going to play with it now, but you know what? We're not going to have to worry about that. Actually, it's kind of nice with it flat because our new design ink pads are coming out, if you haven't heard. When the new catalog comes out, I'm going to do this one kind of like that. And they're more like a cosmetic case where they just flip open. So an incident like this is not going to happen. And this very easily will pop right back in. But I don't want to waste my time, you know, showing you how to pop that back in. There's videos online, but it, it really, let me just see if I can do it quick. There we go. Okay, we're back in. We are good. Okay, there we go. Back together. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I need that back. All right, now we're going to use the same um, crumb cake for, I'm going to use the saying, seize the day. Seize. Like seize, like the seize. And this one came a lot darker than my last one, so I'm going to hope that we can see this. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, seize the day. And I'm not going to play around with that ink pad too much, but there we go. All right, let's move all that out of the way. Now what I want to do is I'm bringing my Wink of Stella to the party. And we're going to do a little bit of spritzing with her. So I'm going to squeeze her just a little bit. I'm going to use the lid of the Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to kind of flick some of this on here. You can even go ahead and cover the shells but I think this little bit of flicking on here, I think she needs a little more. Well, my card does anyhow. I don't know. Stella's probably going, stop, stop. Okay. Then can you um, see that luster on there? A lot of the women <clears throat> last night, excuse me, they said that is what made the card. I'm looking for my, mm, 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 my ribbon. Here it is. Here we go. Got my ribbon. 
Oh, and look, there's a splice in this one. Have you ever had that happen to you? I guess it doesn't go on forever, so Stampin' Up's got to splice it somewhere, right? So let me just trim that. Okay, I'm going to use my Fast Fuse. Unfortunately, this has been retired, sold out, and gonzo. Um, a Did it come down? No, it didn't work. Hold on. There we go. A lot of people didn't ever like the Fast Fuse, but then when they went and had that huge big sale, it sold out like crazy cakes. And um, then there was just, um, there weren't refills, I believe there was, or was there just refills? I don't remember. But then there were just um, some left in stock, and well now it's been exhausted. So it's kind of like, you know what happens when things retire? It's like things have kind of been around and then as soon as people hear that things are going to be gone, it's like panic strikes. So there we go. We just did a little faux bow, just wrapping it around, taking another piece and tying it on. And then let's just put our card together. So um, Fast Fuse really is was a great glue tape runner. And I'm going to miss it. But... We still have our snail, and we have our tear and tape, and we, you know, we still have our liquid glue. A little ribbon there is giving me a little botchy botchy there. So let's go ahead and adhere that. And I really think the Tempting Turquoise, even though we didn't use it in the card, I really think it does a lot to um, bring out the color in the card. So here we go. Here was this card, and then this card, and then this was my sample card, but I think from being on the table at class, it kind of got a little zhuzh on it. But there is that one. Let me move these as well. So, yeah. I think it's a stunning card, and look at the difference in the different um, colors. Whether you go a little deeper, a little lighter, you know, it's totally up to you. So if you're interested in this So Many Shells, it's a photopolymer stamp set, and it does have 18 stamps in it, head on over to my online store and be sure to pick it up over at stampinsucreates.stampinup.net. And with a $50 purchase now through, um, well, pretty much this weekend, and use the host code that's there, and you will qualify to get a pack of the iridescent sequins which I will send to you in May look how stunning It'd be nice to add a couple of those on there you will get them as a thank you gift from me in May so thank you so much for joining me I hope you have a super stampin day and I look forward to seeing you back here again real soon bye for now